what's going on. So again, Walmart didn't done it again. They didn't turn into like a old school soul train venue. So I'm watching TV and what comes blasting through the airways. Carl Carlton, she's a bad mamma jamma. Now, all of a sudden, they're trying to cater to more African American audience because these promos are going worldwide. And so it's interesting because at first they was using um I remember hearing uh, Rick James give it to me, baby, which caught me off guard. I shot a video for that and that cracked me up. And then the Gap Bands early in the morning, which of the videos I've seen so far, that one was the only one that connected to what the actual storyline was because these songs, R&B classics, funky and still banging and have an, and definitely have inspired influence and been sampled and looped, et cetera, et cetera. But it's kind of like it trips me out for another reason. <clears throat> As most people know who who invested in Walmart and, and dealt with Walmart, Walmart comes across more what we say country, redneckish, middle of the road, especially with the appeal, because you think of Duke, Dyn- Duke Dynasty, Duke Dynasty, and you also think of Garth Brooks, because Garth Brooks had the schools to deal with Walmart. So you would think more conservative, more middle of the road, more white you know, more, you know, based on uh, the appeal. When you don't think of Rick James, the Gap Band, and Carl Carlton coming out, blasting out their system. So this is pretty interesting that that's what, you know, they got like a little mini soul train going on with the promo ads. Now, again, I'm not really a fan of this sort of thing because they're playing random songs and they don't even correlate to uh what they're showing as far as commercial and also um back in the day they never ran ads like that you know commercials but it's very interesting that walmart is trying to you know be funky and be down you know at a certain segment and the way they're going about it so you know that's what's catching me off guard with that so it's like wow one more trying to, you know, one more trying to have a groove when usually when you go into Walmart, you don't, you don't get, you don't hear that kind of, you don't hear the music like that. And, you know, again, like I said before, thinking about what Garth Brooks having his exclusive deal there, you think more of country, more middle of the road, more accessible pop. So what they're showing us for these commercials is like, I'm like Scooby doing the wall, man. Wow. That's what they're doing. So. Yeah. yeah, but she's bad, man. My jamma didn't correlate at all with the commercial with the family last night. But, yeah, it got my attention because I'm like, dang, Walmart trying to get funky. So that's my take about the Walmart right, trying to have a little mini soul train thing going on with their commercials. Feel free to leave them comments. Hit that subscribe. I'm out. Peace.